This is the uh, first example uh, for the Kirby calculator. Again, it's a preliminary version, just development. Um, what we're going to do here is uh, create a new document. And uh, you can drag the mouse to draw our diagram. I'm going to just make a little unknotty component here. Wonderful. Um, of course, you're going to want crossings in these diagrams. If you uh, draw, you just drag your mouse as usual. And if you drag across, you're going to get an overcrossing. Uh, if you see something you need to drag across to get an undercrossing, simply hold down Shift while you're dragging. You can draw everything fairly smoothly again. Hold Shift to undercross the strand. So click, drag over. OK, Shift for drag under, Shift for drag under, over again, and back. Um, once you've got your diagram set, you can hit Process. And uh, for each component of the diagram, <coughs> the program is going to prompt you for what type of handle it is. Is it a one handle, a two handle? If so, what's the coefficient? This is just a simple diagram from Savelyev's uh, Topology of Three Manifolds uh, book. And we'd like, I guess, a plus four here, a plus two here, a plus one, and finished. Now what you'll see here is the, is the Kirby diagram. Again, it's drawn by circle packing, so geometrically it may not look exactly the way you put it in, but uh, in terms of the diagram and, and not equivalence, it'll be the same thing. Uh, each component will be given a color, and that color will persist through the uh, manipulation so that you can keep track of them a bit more easily. Uh, I'm going to click Auto Simplify here, which means that after each manipulation, uh, any simplifying Reitermeister 1 moves or 2 moves will be done automatically, so we just don't have to worry about that. Keep things clean. Uh, all we're going to be doing here is some blowdowns uh, to get this from three components down to one. Uh, the requirements for a blowdown in this program will be that you have a two handle uh, with a plus or minus one coefficient. Uh, it needs to have no self crossings. In other words, it needs to appear in and of itself as an unknot. And uh, as far as the strands that cross into it and out of it, uh, there can be as many strands as you need going through it, but they, they can't cross on the interior of that uh, loop. Uh, alternatively, if they don't cross on the exterior, that's just as good. So all I'm going to do is click this uh, plus one component. And uh, what's going to happen is the uh, blue and the red will be handle slid out of the plus one. Uh, the plus one uh, component will be blown down. And uh, we'll see the result with the proper twists and uh, framing. And there we go. One simple click. One more click and we'll be finished. Uh, we've got a plus one. Again, it's no self-crossings. It's got no crossings inside, nor outside for that matter this time. Uh, one click. And we've got a minus one framed uh, left-handed trefoil, which is the expected result. Um, quick remark, we can always control Z, control Z uh, to undo, or control shift Z to redo. So we can actually step back through the entire procedure if we'd like. Well, that concludes the first demonstration. Uh, we'll see a bit more in the second one with a few more features. But this just shows you basically how to enter a diagram and how to do some basic uh, manipulation in Kirby moves.